like, what about like the helicopter lift or something? No, not the helicopter. <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Brennan Clust. Some of you may know me as Daniel from The Next Step. Some of you are probably from the future. You know me as Shane McRae on Tiny Pretty Things. I decided to listen to your comments and react to season one of The Next Step. And specifically, I'm gonna react to the episode when Daniel gets injured. That infamous ankle, the injury that I will never escape, the fictitious injury that I will never escape. Grab a drink, I need to drink to do this. Um, I actually, I found, I have all of the DVDs of season one in this little case. I have all the DVDs of season one. And I think two, or maybe this is just all season one. Season one, it is episode uh, 21, I believe. Break stuff. Previously on The Next Step. Previously the on The Next Step. The of Atrium is Giselle. I am so excited to be back at Atrium. I'm back. I'm back. Emily made it to Elite and she's not coming back. She's not coming I back. I think it would be a good idea if we came up with a new routine for regionals. Why? Emily might share. <laughs> Kate, so shady. Stephanie's like, I think this would be a good idea. Kate's like, why? Old routine with the people at Elite. Yo, you're you right, man. I landed funny in rehearsal the other day. I think it just kind of tweaked my ankle. I don't. Oh, the ankle. Could possibly take the solo away from me and I'm gonna the make solo. sure I take that solo. He's gonna make sure he keeps that solo. It's all about the solo with Daniel. Okay, this solo of Jordan's, I remember we had learned the helicopter lift the day before to film it for this day when she also filmed her solo. And we learned it in like 15 minutes over lunch break the day before and I didn't injure my ankle. The ankle is like scripted, the scripted injury, but the lift, like Jordan is an excellent partner and she's super easy to lift and partner. Um, but the lift itself has like a lot of momentum and like torque. And I just threw out my back learning how to do it because we only had like 15 minutes over lunch. And so at the end of this solo, it was supposed to go into a Daniel and a Giselle duet, not like connected, but we had that short scene where I'm like, nice. And she's like, I'm gonna make sure I never get kicked out again. I totally remember all this. And then we were supposed to go into a duet and they ended up having to cut it because, I mean, I'm sure you're gonna see, I remember being so stiff and like in pain because my back was in full spasm the next day, uh, which is this day on set filming. Giselle's solo is amazing. I'm really, really happy that I, I caught her during rehearsal. Okay, also really, really, I remember a lot of our talking heads are improv uh, they give us like a question or a prompt and we have to improv in character and answer. And I don't know what it was season one, but I guess I really wanted Daniel to always seem really like excited and gung ho and really, really excited to be there. I remember watching episodes back and being like, I say really, really so often on this show. I need to not do that. It's so annoying. So in season two, I remember coming back and making a mental note, like do not allow yourself to say really, really ever. Ugh. Jordan is such a good dancer. I miss dancing with all these people. It was so much fun. Oh, I'm so stiff. Oh, the title credits. So nostalgic. Yes, the shimmy. <laughs> My little fart move. <laughs> I think that every time I see it. I'm like, what was I doing? Tooting? Why am I doing that? Okay, also, fun fact, I wasn't actually there in that final lineup. They CGI'd me into it because it's the same reason season one of The Next Step, I get injured, that like Daniel gets injured. Um, I think in the storyline, it was supposed to be Giselle that got injured. Like Giselle was supposed to originally make a troop and then she got injured and leaves. Like there was a whole other, they had like a whole structure for the season. But when they were working out all of our deals, like negotiating when we got the parts um, and giving us the roles, my agent told them like, he has to leave by end of August because I had to go for my first year at Juilliard, like on a certain date and like could not be late. But the next step filmed into mid-September. 
And so they had to make a reason, like make it make sense in the story for why Daniel leaves early. And so that's why season one, I was the character to get injured. Like I always think someone was supposed to get injured, but it wasn't me. And then it ended up being me because of Juilliard. And they were so generous to work around my schedule and like still want me to be on the show, but make it work for me. It was just, I'm so lucky. And that's why every season Daniel leaves for a different reason, because I always had to leave for Juilliard and they would film into the school year always. Um, but so for this opening credits, the white wall day is what we called it. I flew home from New York on a weekend to film all of this and film some of the like talking heads later on in like September or October or something. This, this lineup, they had me just like improvise by myself and like hit a pose. And then in editing, they like move the line and like put my body in. So funny. Okay, close that. All right, let's keep watching. So my point is, is that the way that they danced was full of soul. And I mean, I think that's what original's routine is missing. What if we do an overhead lift? Wait, we want something with soul, with feeling. So I was like, what about an overhead lift? Like, how does that, okay. No, oh my God. absolutely not. That's way too risky. We can't throw that in at this point. Well, Giselle and I used to do overhead lifts all the time. Yeah, all the time. Yeah, yeah like what about like the helicopter lift or something? No, not the helicopter. Yep. Oh, cool. easy. Overhead lifts are dangerous. Not easy. End of discussion. The girls are so high up in the air. The guys need to be so strong and sturdy and- Strong and sturdy? Who wants to be described as strong and sturdy? I know Daniel and I can do it. Spoiler alert, they cannot. They, well, we can. You'll see that we can do it, but then it just goes horribly wrong, obviously, as it does on TV. Like full out? Uh, there might not be enough space. The ceilings are a little low in here. Yeah. We could go into Studio A. Yeah, if it's- Pause! Okay, my eyebrows. We need to talk, we need a moment to talk about my eyebrows, season one. I overplucked my eyebrows so much, season one. I don't know why, I don't know what I was thinking. Biggest regret. When I watch the season back, that is all I notice. My eyebrows are so overplucked. I like totally plucked them out to here. Look, face to face comparison. Like this is what my eyebrows usually look like. I don't know what I was doing. Brennan, why? Note to self or note to everybody ever. Do not overpluck your eyebrows, please. Looks so bad. But then, cause it's a TV show and we film everything out of order. They had to look like that the whole season. I had to keep it up cause we had to keep continuity. Ugh. So like we filmed, I think we actually started filming episodes like six and seven first. And then we went back and filmed episodes like one and two and then like 13 and 14 and then three and four and like all out of order. I don't know why, it's just how TV works sometimes. They film things out of order based on locations and whatever. But once you establish something in a show, it has to stay like that. And so those fucking eyebrows are the, I, oh, I hate. I hate watching season one back because of my eyebrows. It's empty, we could totally do it, oh, yeah. right? I don't know. Are you not comfortable with doing it or? I'm just a little worried now that Kate and Chris said no. Ugh, poor Danny. Poor Danny boy. He gets so peer pressured into doing that lift. Listen, I just came from B and I don't want to go back there. I'm unsure about doing the lift mainly- A boot! Oh my God, my Canadian accent on that. That's one thing now as like a more experienced actor, I'm very mindful of my voice and dialect and accents or whatever. As you know, I, I do an amazing Australian accent. Okay, that was- Anyways, now on Tiny Pretty Things, Shane is American. So I've had to be really mindful about certain words that my Canadian accent will like come out on. And on the next step, I had no clue about any of that. I don't think we ever really say where the next step dance studio is, but it's clearly in Canada. With, for anyone who has an ear, it is in Canada. You wanna shine, Daniel, right? Yeah, okay, she's right. We'll do it. Yeah? Ah. Oh! Kate has just threatened to take my solo away, and if Michelle finds out that I'm injured, she could go to Kate and that solo could be gone. That solo, he is so obsessed with having the solo. I mean, to be fair, I think we say it on the show, but like whoever has the solo at regionals gets noticed and you could get like a career as a professional dancer. And that's like all Daniel wants is to be a professional dancer. Poor, poor boy.
Oh yeah, the red sweater vest. I thought I looked so hot in that. All right, I'm gonna skip ahead to my stuff. They only want to watch me. It's just Elden. It's just Elden. Okay, we need two things. You can't tell anyone what we're gonna do right now, and we need you to spot us. Yes and yes. Yes and yes. <laughs> we're gonna do the helicopter lift. Really? Yeah, really. Really happy Elden's there. Uh, it's kind of a safety net for me. Aw, Elden. I'm really happy Elden's there. Date. I wish Elden and Daniel got together. Let's be real, there's so much tension. So much tension. If at Nationals, oh my god, if at Nationals, uh, Elden wins and Daniel storms off stage and Elden like came to apologize and Daniel just kissed him, that would be good TV. I would watch that. Are you guys ready? I'm pushing myself to do the lift because that's what great dancers do. Yeah, let's do it. That's what great dancers do. Perfect. Perfect. I really we did believe it. that we did the helicopter. My ankle feels totally fine, and I think we could totally add this into the routine. Oh, they're so excited. It's gonna go so terribly wrong. What was that jump, Brennan? Ew, why did I do that? That was not good. And that was not a good angle to show it at. Oh God, yeah, this was the whole like Weston Daniel battle. Oh my God, I'm so intense. Daniel and I are gonna spring the lift on Miss Kate and Chris. All of a sudden, Daniel and Giselle- The are... nod! Michelle's nod, the vroom. Gah, it's time. I love it. Formation, what are they doing? This is not what we've rehearsed. Oh no. I feel really confident that Giselle and I can pull this off. We've practiced and the lift is flawless. The lift is flawless. We've practiced and sassy shoulder. The lift is flawless. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I don't want to watch. Okay, here it goes. As soon as I hear a thud, I know something must have happened. It was happened. like sad to watch. I remember acting it out and it was like very intense. I don't think the cast knew how like seriously I was gonna play it, but I remember like sobbing and shaking and was like really, I mean, I was like really making myself believe that I had like ruined my leg and like my ankle was fucked. Um, I remember them calling cut and everyone was like, are you good? And I was like, yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Anyways. He's worked so hard for so long and he could be out now. Chris goes running. Oh, and then I think they all argue about like, whose fault was it? Daniel's injury is serious. It's a grade three ankle sprain. Not a grade three ankle sprain. If it doesn't heal properly, it could be a career ender. A career ender, the drama. Although I'm pretty sure a grade three ankle sprain is like, they did their, the writers did the research that it could be a career ender. <sighs> Poor Daniel. How long is he out for? Well, the doctors are still running tests, but um, he's definitely out of regionals. This is all your fault. <laughs> this is all your fault. What was that body check, Sam? Are you happy now? Because if you would have just it. listened to Kate and Chris and not let them do the lift, this wouldn't have happened. You're the dance captain. She's so good. Guy. Sam is such a good actor. Oh my God, I love her in this role. She brings such a fun energy to like the group dynamic. Oh my God, she was perfect for Stephanie. And Michelle's failing. She's not putting the team's best interest at heart. No, no, it's definitely Daniel's responsibility. What? He knew his ankle was hurt. He should have said no to the lift. Wait, what? so you're saying you knew that he was what? injured and didn't tell us? You didn't tell me? Ah, Riley! And didn't tell me? Like, okay, calm down, Jiley. Oh my God. You didn't tell us? You didn't tell me? Make it all about her, okay. He should have known his limits as a dancer. That's the first rule in dance. That's the first rule in dance. The first rule. 
I thought the lift was a good idea too. I don't think Michelle deserves everything that Steph. Miss Kate, <laughs> Miss Kate's like, I told you fuckers. I told y'all. She's like, mm-mm, these kids, mm-mm. What he's saying to her? I'm really sorry, guys, it's all my fault. It's no one's fault. It's hers. It's very it not Michelle's fault. fault. <laughs> it's no one's fault. Stephanie's like, it's hers. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Finally, Miss Kate, shut it down. I ripped the ligaments pretty badly, and it looks like I'm gonna need surgery. And the doctors say I won't be able to dance for months. Not surgery. Even though I'm injured, I know they're still going to move on with their lives. They're going to go to regionals without me. Daniel is one of my best, best friends. Oh my God, I forgot about this and I just looked. They put like purple and black and brown makeup on my toes to make them look like bruised and swollen and uh, it was so gross. I remember on the day being like, that looks disgusting. And you can like, they never did a close up of it in the episode, but you can totally see it if you watch back. If you look at my foot, that's like all bandaged up. The toes are all like bruised and yeah, it was the makeup department. They like really went in on it. I won't ever push a dancer as hard as I did to Daniel. I mean, it's the worst thing to do. Hey, can you two be quiet? It's a serious moment right here. I'm gonna need you to hush up, okay? Dance a lot. We're watching Daniel right now. I know, okay. I'm sorry I let you guys down. Oh. He was determined to go to regionals with us and win regionals and now he can't even dance. Oh, that group hug broke me. I remember the showrunner talking with me in the hallway before coming in on the crutches for that scene. Kitties. Remember the showrunner saying to me like, you wanna come into the scene nice and like strong, like hold it together, you know, don't be upset when you come in, really try to like put on a strong front. And then he was like, and then if you get sad, like then you get sad. Like he was trying not to like give me any expectations for the scene, but just like let it play out. That group hug broke me because I was actually moving away from home away from this like TV show that I had been filming for two months. And like, we all became such close friends while filming. And I was just like a once in a lifetime experience, an opportunity, and then I was leaving. And so those are real tears. I was like, really? Shh. I've trained so many years <laughs> and I got the solo and everything was falling into place. And now it's all ruined. <laughs> heavy. Also that forehead vein, I hate it. So emotional. So like I, that vein shows up when I smile too hard, when I'm crying really hard. It's like very real. Um, damn, that's a heavy episode. Honestly, it ends on like sad note. Whew. Okay. Well, it was actually really fun to watch that back kind of go down memory lane back to when it all started. Like, this is how I got into film and television and ended up pursuing acting. Um, and now Tiny Pretty Things premieres in like just over a week on Netflix worldwide. And I think it's like 192 countries, which is crazy. So leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you liked watching this reaction. I think Britt and I are planning on doing a reaction video together. Give this video a like if you liked it. It really supports my channel and uh, subscribe because I have a ton of Tiny Pretty Things content planned already. I like filmed it all while we were filming. I have like six behind the scenes vlogs coming out as soon as the show releases. And I'm really excited for you guys to, to check it out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, I hope that you're all thriving in life right now. And if not thriving, surviving. All right, see you guys, bye.